Let's take a little trip back down memory lane. You feel me? Lord knows how much money I have spent on makeup last year. Uh, there are always those products that you always find yourself gravitating towards or always going back to use. So let's go into my best products, best makeup products of 2016. And I'm going to do it in the order of the way I do my face. So, you know, like brows, face, eyes, blah, 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 blah. Favorite primer of 2016, I would have to say is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Yeah, it did not come out last year, but however it was last year, I really got my hands on it. And this was doing a really good job for me. I really felt like it really protected my face and there was a strong barrier in between my skin and the makeup that I would apply. So I would have to definitely say that my favorite primer for the year 2016 was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So eyebrows. When the year started, I really was into the whole dip brow thing. Dipping the brush and then, you know, applying my eyebrows and all that jazz. But then I started getting a little lazy. And then I found this little old thing. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Dark Brown. Basically, this is a two-ended brow pencil. You would have your spoolie on one side. And then on the other was the product I don't have anymore. I finished it. Clearly, that means I like it. Cool part about this was that the pencil was actually slanted. It was a slanted shape type of pencil. So that made it easier to apply the actual product. And one thing I really liked about this, not only did it cut back time on applying my brows, I felt like it made my brows look more natural compared to using the dip brow. Favorite eyeshadow palette of the year. I'll wait. Shadow palette of the year, none other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This eyeshadow palette was just a one by far. I think the best eyeshadow palette that they came out with because it's just so versatile, and I love how the colors could transition from fall going into winter. But how busted mine look right now, y'all already know how often I use this bad boy. The crease colors are A1. The eyelid colors, A1. The dark brown to deepen up the outer V, A1. You could create so many different looks with it. You could do something simple. You could do something fly, cut, crease, land to the gods. Anything, anything with this palette. So you try to tell me what other palette you think could actually beat this out of 2016. Okay. Ooh, I should have cleaned this before I filmed this, but. That's the reality of my stuff, y'all. Guys, best eyeliner. I will continue this until I find something better. And as of now, I have not. I like this last year, and I like it again this year. This is the NYC Liquid Liner. Yo, there is no liner out there that is as opaque, gets the job done, and cheap and affordable. This thing is only $3. I haven't been able to put it down, and that's before 2016. I was using this since, sheesh, I don't even know, but I've been using this for a minute, and this thing is white. Best mascara has to be the Benefits Their Real Mascara. This mascara is a little bit more on the pricey side. I know a lot of people don't want to spend $20-something on a mascara, but I would definitely say that this mascara definitely elongates my eyelashes because, first of all, my eyelashes aren't truly the best. This gives my lashes the opportunity to be as bold and pungent with the type of formula that is in the Benefits Their Real Mascara. So I know a lot of y'all might not want to spend a little coin on it, but... 
Let me tell y'all something about my waterline. My waterline could be so watery sometimes. And it was really hard for me to find a liner for my waterline that not only comes off black, would stay and it'll actually cooperate with my watery eyes. And it just so happened that I stumbled upon the Milani Supreme Cold Cajal. This is the only thing I use on my waterline. I don't touch anything else. Before this, I was using the LA Girl, what is that, the Glide liner, something like that. This works better than that to me, honestly. So y'all could definitely pick this up at y'all local drugstore, Walmart, Target, PBS, blah, blah, blah. Moving into the face and foundation. Surprisingly, my favorite foundation this year is not a higher end foundation. I was kind of back and forth with the foundations. However, there was one foundation that was just coming through, that was just showing out, and that would be the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355. During the summer, my skin changes colors so easily this matched me so well it was so cheap and it still made me look beat despite how cheap it was so this by far is my favorite foundation for the year of 2016 hence i have it on now and y'all know she's slightly beat slightly or not after applying foundation of course you gotta highlight the face and to highlight the face i would go in with the la girl concealer in fawn however this alone does not work as great with another product that i really think it works really well with these two products together for concealer i couldn't pick one concealer because these two together really give me a good coverage underneath the eye and it's slayage automatic slayage so the la girl pro concealer mixed with the mac pro Longwear. what i do is i apply this first and i blend it out and then i put this right on top blend it out then i set my face these two together as a concealer like ain't no beating it ain't no beating it whatsoever of course to bake the obvious no not the Laura mercier i like the yellow color that it leaves behind i don't mind it so that's why i gravitate more towards this versus the Lord Mercier. Maybe I should really give the Lord Mercier a, a true shot. But when something's good, I'm sticking to it. I'm not changing it. Unless it's something that's like from the heavens. To contour and to chisel up my face, I would use by far the best, the Makeup Shayla Tardius Contour Palette. And I would use this color down here to contour. And at first, this color, I was extremely surprised. I did not think that it was gonna be as like bold as it was this thing you could definitely pack on the color pack on the color pack on the color it's a really 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 good contour color to set my face even throughout my color changes throughout the year my skin getting real yellow my skin getting the tan makeup forever has not let me down the makeup forever pro matte foundation powder and i'm in the color 218 this has not let me down like I barely was using my MAC MSF, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish this year. I was surprised in myself that I ended up buying this because I never thought that I would go out of my way to spend the amount of money on this beauty tool. But I kind of see as to why people spend the money. The actual beauty blender, the real, authentic, true beauty blender since i got this i barely ever touch my real technique ones for some reason this beauty blender just blends out like seamlessly seamlessly for me it doesn't soak up as much product i feel like the texture of the actual beauty blender itself allows the product to just glide compared to the other beauty sponge it's as if i don't have to put in as much work with this to get the type of look that I'm going for. So this is another reason as to why I really, 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 really like the Beauty Blender. Another fave for the books. For blush this year, I was using many different types of colors. This blush in particular made me realize how just because something's pink doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna come off girly, doesn't mean it's gonna come off like looking real cheesy or whatever. So my favorite blush for the year, even though I kind of recently got it, but it blew the other blushes out the water. 
it blew the other blushes out the water. NARS blush in Gulu. And I got this when I hit when I hit VIB Rouge at Sephora. Yeah, this is a really nice blush. Especially I got it for free. Well, technically not for free, but this blush is a really nice one really 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 nice one it gives me back that girly feeling it gives me back like that feminine feel of a blush like it's not too too cheesy pink but it's like just the right amount of pink to just add a nice color to my face for highlight to pick the best highlight of 2016 no I could have picked one in particular but technically I kind of picked one and I'm surprised within myself because here is the ultimate glow kit. Remember when I bought this, I said that I was honestly considering returning it? Yeah, that ain't happened. The main reason why I really like this glow kit a lot is because at first I didn't like this reason, but now I it grew on me. It really grew on me. These colors, they're more grainy, they're more glittery, they're more on the chunky side. So that was really different compared to the other glow kits that they had already made. The chunkiness, I love. The glitter, I love. Like this kit right here, my highlight would be Metro Booming. Especially this amber gold color right here. This is the one that I would use the most in this palette. I'm surprised too, y'all. I'm surprised too. I really thought this thing was gonna go back to the store, but it didn't. As far as lashes go, this year, eBay lashes, hands down. These lashes, when I wanted something big, bold, when I wanted it to be a little flirty, when I wanted it to be a little extra, these came through. Not only did they come through with the actual usage of the lashes, but they're cheap. Like this one pack is like $119, less than $2. Where can you beat that? Where? How, Sway? How? How? For my favorite, 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 favorite of the year. 2016. Setting your face is very important. Finding the right setting spray that will actually set your face to the utmost capacity. Honey, Mario Badescu rose water? Bitch, where? I'm sorry, I don't even use my All Nighter spray like that anymore. I don't use um, the D Slick one anymore. Fix Plus, I don't even buy that anymore. I don't even buy Fix Plus anymore. It's this. Use it to moisturize my face before I put on my face and I use it right after and my face will be perfect. It will look just as I could roll up into a party right now, sweat, everything like that. I will walk out of that party still be there. And the best part about it is that it's $7. Damn, I sound like a little cheapy, but I'm not really a little cheapy. But this is cheap, but it's good. It's really good. I really, really like it. I really do. Really do. Those were my 2016 favorite makeup products of the year. Hopefully this year I don't buy as much makeup as last year, but we shall see. Thanks for staying tuned, y'all. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, join the royal fam, and I will see you guys in the next video.